वेलकम ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर इवेंट बेस्ड ट्रिगर ऑफ क्लू क्रॉलर्स समटाइम्स इन योर डेटा पाइपलाइंस यू मे गेट अ सिनेरियो दैट यू वांट टू ट्रिगर क्रॉलर्स एवरी टाइम अ फाइल इज बीइंग अपलोडेड टू द एस3 सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू डू दैट सो इफ यू हैव फॉलोड मी फ्रॉम माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस यू विल हैव फेयर आईडिया अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ क्लू क्रॉलर्स सो लेट्स मूव टू द इवेंट बेस्ड ट्रिगर्स नाउ So this is the basic workflow that I'm going to discuss. I have an S3 bucket where I will upload an object. On the upload of this object, lambda would be triggered that will in turn run the crawler. Once the crawler finishes, it will update the glue data catalog. So let's start with the demo now. I have opened my glue console. In my previous videos I created orders crawler that crawls my data in S3 bucket. Let me show you my S3 bucket also. This is my S3 bucket, glue double zero one. I have two CSV files that are already crawled by the glue crawler, and this has created one table which is glue underscore double zero one. If we go and look at the schema, so this has twenty one columns as of now, and the last one is serial version. I'll go to lambda. We'll create a lambda function that will trigger this orders crawler. So let's move to lambda console now. We'll click on create function. Let's author from scratch. I'll select the runtime as Python and click create function. My function is created. So the first step would be to add a trigger. So this trigger will be on S3 bucket. I choose the bucket which is glue double zero one. I don't want to add any prefix or suffix. Just click here and click on add. My trigger is successfully added. So if you want to double check, just click on S three here. You'll see that uh, I have enabled trigger on this particular bucket glue double zero one on object created. Let's write the lambda function that will trigger our crawler so this is very straight forward first we'll import boto3 library now after that we'll create a glue client so once we have the client then uh, we can uh, go inside lambda handler i'll remove this configuration i'll say client dot start crawler and inside that you have to give the name of your crawler so in our case uh, name is orders crawler so this is it guys uh, you can add a print statement here just to double check if your lambda is getting executed and if you want to print the response Let's uh, deploy this function. We are done with the lambda code, and the next step would be to update the basic settings. Just go below. You will see basic settings here. Click on Edit. Here, just increase the memory to five twelve MB, and uh, time out to let's say two minutes. Here you will see one uh, existing role that is automatically created. You have to provide this role glue access so that it can trigger the crawler. So for now you can save it. Now click on permission. In the permission you will see execution role. Click on this and it will open IAM console. Make sure this role has access to glue. 
So what I'll do is I'll attach the policies. Search for blue. Click on attach policy. Now we are all set. Let's test this lambda also. Just click here. Give it my event. I don't want to pass anything here. So if you want to test your lambda function, just click on test. You can see that uh, lambda function is succeeded. So if you go below, you'll see the output. So we printed this dash 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 and uh, response also. So we got HTTP response 200. Yeah. So if we go to our glue console, you'll see that uh, our lambda is triggered. Let's wait for it to finish, then we'll move to the demo on uploading the file to S3. The status is stopping now. You can see that uh, this has returned to the ready status and uh, okay, now I'll upload a new file that will contain one more column so that when we run the crawler, we should have table updated as one here. So let me show you my file orders 3. You can see that I have uh, one more column here, which is vendor ID with just five rows. What I'll do is uh, I'll go to S3 console, click on upload. Click upload here. Just wait for it. Uh, once this is uploaded, our Lambda would be triggered. I'll exit from here and uh, we'll go directly to the Lambda. Go to monitoring and uh, click on view logs in CloudWatch. We should see two entries here. First one would be of the test that we triggered and the second one is the latest one. Yeah, we could see that. Just open here. You can see that uh, this has completed. Let's go to the glue. Yeah, you can see status is starting here. That means our Lambda has done the work. You can click on logs as I explained in my previous video. Just clear this filter and click on refresh. Uh, this is the latest one. Uh, I'll click on view as text. If you come down, uh, you can see table in database has been updated with new schema. That means this uh, vendor ID, this vendor ID column should have been added to our table schema. So let's uh, go to the glue console first. So this is stopping status and you can see that tables updated as one. To show you the exact schema change, we can go to the tables. And uh, if you click here, if you come down, you'll see that another column is added, vendor ID. Okay, so this is it from the event-based trigger of uh, AWS Glue crawlers. And thanks for watching. Uh,